It's good to have somebody practical for these kind of decisions. I'm the one looking for the magic in the place, so. Compromise. <laughs> it's a good teamwork. Te good teamwork, I think. Back. We'll find something perfect. I like this one. I think it's nice. I think we do what we wanted to do here. If you haven't seen our other homestead search videos, you should check those out. Colby, our Missouri real estate agent, needed a day to line up more properties for us to see. So we decided to take a day and see places in Arkansas. Tina is our real estate agent down there. She's great, and I'll put her contact information in the video description. Please let us know in the comments what you like about these different places we're seeing. All right, so this is place number six, the first place we've seen in Arkansas. It's much bigger than we had thought we'd be considering. We've got 80 acres here. It's set up for cattle. And uh, they're making fun of me for talking to myself on YouTube. But that's all right. I'm used to it. We'll take a look at the place and uh, point out anything really, really special about it. The hardware off, paint it white, put the hardware back on. Bookshelf. Really nice fireplace. Great views out of the living room. The views are definitely something to see out here at this place. Wow, this handy dandy lock. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how they get it. Okay. That is a country lock if I ever saw one. <laughs> yeah. I've still been working on some of our trick today, y'all. Okay. It's been, um, oh, that's all right. Yeah. Kind of crazy. Yeah. That's what we've experienced to get to back with you. so far. Sure. Yeah. Well, we didn't know how long it was going to take us to get here, or when we were going to be able to leave, and what day. And sure. So I'm like, okay, honey, we're just kind of winging it then. <laughs> right. That's what. Wait, we'll just wing it today. There are quite a few outbuildings out here. This looks like a three-car garage. It's also got a little greenhouse tacked onto the end here. In a little bit of rough shape. Really nice space. What do you think, Wendy? Would that be serviceable right away? or? Yeah, you could just put a up and as long as that works fine and yeah make it goat go proof yep there's a lot of space to work with awesome yeah this is sure yeah like it's already kind of set up before yeah. we got to look at yeah this one would be good because then i could we could actually feed in the, in oh, the yeah, look at that. area there be able to drive a tractor straight through and dump stuff in here let's take a look <laughs> well, my grandparents had a farm, and I spend almost all my time with them. Yep, or a feed trough. Yeah. 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 As awesome as this place looks and feels, even if we can just barely afford it, it feels like it's more than we can handle to me. I mean, it's. It really is set up for a much larger operation than we were even thinking of expanding to. Eros knows what to do on a hot day. So that's the big pond. Looks like it has a dock down there. Amazing. The one feature of this property that really is super cool to me is this old log cabin. The original residents of the 
property before they built the home over there. Meet you around the other side. Okay, yeah, careful, there's, uh, there is a lot of stuff coming down. So it is, it obviously is rough, but, uh, oh, really rough. interesting history, though. Very interesting history. Participating. And you can, obviously, you can see daylight coming through the roof and through the walls. Cool to see. Careful. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking. This is really good. Yeah. Yeah. It looks yep. It would probably need a little too much work than we could afford <laughs> to well, make this into a, you could do it a little bit an Airbnb or something. Like Can you imagine this as an Airbnb if it was actually restored? But my gosh. Saw that little dock down there. Go oh, here. Yeah. So the place feels a little bit big to me, but Wendy is pretty keen on keeping this on the maybe list. I like this one. I think it's nice. I think, I think we could do what we wanted to do here. That yeah, needed a bit of light on this side. I think we could do what we wanted and, and not have a lot of things to do to kind of. I guess bring our animals here bring our stuff here and just get started so that's a plus for me and there's more land than we would really know what to do with to begin with so it would give us a lot of options for our future yeah. Yeah. it's quiet and peaceful and it has the pond it, it has everything in abundance that we would possibly want yep it's right at the very top of what we could ever possibly afford, which is a consideration because we wanted to save some in reserve to, you know, change fences. This, this is set up for cattle, not for goats. There's a difference. And a lot of, a lot of stuff does need some attention. There's a lot of things that are a little older, a little outdated. But like Wendy said, nothing is, uh, nothing's off the table here. It is possible for us to lease part of the land that we buy. That way, somebody would be paying us to take care of land that we wouldn't need right away. All right, so this place is 40 acres. What do you think? Yeah. Would that work for goats even temporarily? Yeah, this would work for goats temporarily. Uh, if I put girls in here and boys in there, might need to check some of the 
with body as if it's like this, they just kick it. <laughs> it would be close. So it's very open, obviously. A lot of, a lot of open fields. You don't have the view here. I mean, you still got a view with the view. Yeah, but, it but it's not the same. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so the, the uh, big, the I'm guessing farm. chicken house, yeah, is probably somebody else's. No, I think that's, that's part, that's of, part this of this place. Oh, wow. Set yeah. up for an industrial strength chicken operation already, which isn't really the homestead <laughs> lifestyle we're looking at, but uh, wow, that's a big building. Well, this is a huge building. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have to Okay, well, it's um, obviously it is a chicken because they're very concerned about pathogens getting in with the chickens. Great birds, yeah. So these are chicken houses. Looks like there was a third one there in the middle. And nice big pond right there beyond that fence. Mm -hmm. And it is just wide open, probably as far as the, well, I don't know, as far as the eye can see, but another big place yeah yeah this house is bigger than the other houses that we've seen so far but the feel of it for me isn't quite as special as that one we just came from it does have some fruit trees over there and good outbuildings so this bonus utility room has kind of a secondary kitchen that, and storage that could be used for Preserving, or Wendy making cheese, or whatever she wants to do. Yep, and more, more rooms. Mm -hmm. I love the look of really old, worn-out barns. I know Wendy's more practical about these sorts of things. This place is on, I think, 57 acres. Look at this. I mean, it's in poor condition, but... It's kind of cool to see. This, of course, is just an outbuilding that's... Really, probably not in even good enough condition to use for anything. Oh, it's a pig. Look at that. Is he in there living his best life? So this one has some fences and a gate that goes back in there. The house itself is pretty close to the road, and the road is nice, it's paved, it's very easy access. They have little dogs, that's what you can hear in the background. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Look at these sweeties. Look at these sweetie pies. Yes, oh, all the sweetie pies. Yes, everybody's friends. Too close to the road, too flat. None of the buildings, as other than the house, obviously, are really usable. So just too worn it's, out. It's it's nice. It's quiet. I mean, it would be a good homestead property, but for a little more with the other one, it doesn't really compare as well, does it? Okay. Yeah, that's another charming little little outbuilding structure there. Yeah, but it's charming, but falling, falling down a little too much. It's good to have somebody practical for these kind of decisions. <laughs> I'm the one looking for the magic in the place, so. Compromise. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, it's a good teamwork. Good, team, good teamwork, I think. Back. We'll find something perfect. <laughs> So mostly just being used for storage at this point. But like I said, it's it's charming. Wendy's against this property, so we're not actually going to even go in the house to see it. And that's fine with me. She can veto any property that she wants. So this is place number nine. And uh, it's occupied at the moment. The homeowners are here. So we're just kind of being respectful and quiet. Nice big rooms. Mm -hmm. I like that they've got fans. I want to see what it's like going out in the backyard. Oh, it's locked right at the moment, but you can kind of see you got forced. Looks like a little dry, bed. dry creek, uh, mm -hmm. creek bed going back there. Feels a little bit like you're in a forest here. That's kind of a nice, nice ambiance. See the garage. Yeah. Oh, this is a cool room. Yeah. Oh Look at gosh. this. Oh, look at all the trucks on the beam. That's kind of cool. <laughs> it looks like it's got the potential for a lot of trails back in the forest. And it's an evergreen forest, which is kind of like what we have back in Oregon. This is kind of cool. Look at this old school bus. This place kind of has that Cog Hill vibe. At least right here. One of the reasons we wanted to see place number nine is it has a cave on the property. Oh, my yeah, it feels good down here. And I mean, it's it's much bigger than you imagine. And bring this out. Here it is. Is it really cool in there? Cool. Oh, yeah. the temperature, yeah. The temperature yeah. definitely drops. Thank you very much for coming along with us. The home search continues. <laughs>